everybody, Adam at Flash Building. Today's lesson, we're going to show you how to validate email just using ActionScript 3. If I type in some gobbledygook, press submit, it don't work. Haha, <laughs> it's very nice. But if I type in your email at your com, press submit, sending to PHP now, email is valid. That's what we're learning. Let's rock and roll! We have a member that's looking to learn how to validate an email address using Flash and ActionScript 3. He followed the form components tutorial that I have, which I will link to right here in the video or in the description. Uh, I'll link to that form components tutorial so you can check it out if you want. And this one's going to be all about validating email addresses that people input into that form or any Flash form you have for that matter. And this file will be available for download free just like all the other flash tutorials we have at developphp.com now let's take a look what we have on stage this is just a static text field it doesn't need to be there really it's just titling this application here's a label for your email field this is the email text field which I grabbed out of the components library the text input and I put it on stage here and I gave it an instance name of email underscore txt then I drug out or I dragged out a uh, a button component right here to the stage and I gave it parameter label of submit and I gave it an instance name of submit underscore btn and then I put a dynamic text field using the text tool here I put a dynamic text field on stage made it single line gave it an instance name of status underscore txt so we have really three elements there on stage email text input field, the submit button, and the status that's going to let us know what's going on, the status field. Okay, now let's take a look at the code. Now the first thing we do in the code is we set up the event listener for the button click on that submit button. And when they click that submit button, we run a function called validate and send. And that function is sitting right here. Now this might look similar to your setup already if you already have a form set up you'll have a submit button listener the event listener for the button and then you'll have a function that fires off when they click that button so inside of that function that fires off or that executes when they click that button I run an if and else condition you can see this function opens on line 4 there and closes on 15 let's get this out of the way for now this function down here is for validating the email address we'll get to that in a second now the function validate and send is the one that would send to the PHP file or check for errors so we put an if condition here that's going to check for errors and you probably have that set up already if you have a, an existing form you're checking to see if fields are empty and things like that you can just add another else if here and what you do is in this if condition you have the validate email address function name set right there which is this function down here and inside of the parameter or the arguments you can set an argument to that function of the email text field which is this text field here the value that's inside of it when they press submit that gets sent to this function using the argument area here inside of the function so the function runs sends an argument of the email text value to this function here and it runs all and computes at that point and then sends back uh, false or true it returns either false or true so we run this evaluation here if the validate email address when it runs the function with this argument in it returns equal to false then we put in the status text field please enter a valid email address when this function runs with this argument inside of it and it equals true it's going to say sending to PHP now email is valid now this is where you would send this area here is where you would send to your PHP file like normal and, uh, and parse things out now let's take a look at the validate email address function okay the validate email address function you'll notice has boolean here instead of void and that's because it's going to return only thing this function can return is true or false that's the only two values this will return so we set it up as a boolean function 
and in the function argument area we claim a variable email string which is equal to this email underscore txt dot text whatever's in that input text the email text gets sent to this and we create a variable out of it called email string right here which we use inside the function right there now uh, there's two things two variables that we set up and one is a regex and one is an object this regex holds the string value for the regex that I want to use here and there's lots of different regexes you could use you can probably search Google for ActionScript 3 email validation regex and get a whole bunch of them and use them here in place of this one uh, all I'm saying is this is not the only one you can use as a whole bunch of them and uh, this one is set up to look for the for the at symbol the dot and make sure things are sp have enough uh, values in it now we take that regex and we use it here with the exec method now I'm going to show you in the help file right now in the flash help file you can type in for ActionScript 3 type in exec open close parenthesis if you happen to have flash cs3 or you can just go online if you have flash cs4 to the online help guide and uh, you'll see here methods for using regular expressions with strings the test method and the exec method and that's what I used in here inside this function and you can research all about that I'm not gonna sit here for eight hours explaining everything about ActionScript this one is just showing you how to set up a couple of functions to or really one function that validates an email address and returns a value of false or true so if this result my result that we get here from using this method is equal to null then we return a value of false if it's not equal to null, if it's not null, then we uh, return a value of true. And then we can evaluate that. See, if validate email address equals false, we render this. Else, we perform this. And that's how it works. And you can get this file free at Develop PHP. Uh, I might put a link to it in the description, or you might just have to go to Develop PHP and click the Flash section and look around. There's tons of free files. I mean, tons. There's also free, all kind of other stuff too. Free sex there too, and boobs. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and you get some use out of it. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.